covering education and the challenge associated with being a high schooler while also being homeless. For the past four years, that has been the case for one Indianapolis teen. She's got quite a story, one we've got to share. RTV6's Ann Kelly explains. Good evening. For the past couple of weeks, we've been bringing you stories about exceptional high school seniors. Last week, it was an IPS valedictorian who several years ago didn't even know English. Today, it's Diamond Bowie, a teen who has overcome years of housing struggle to succeed. For the past four years, the Indianapolis Metropolitan High School on the near west side has been the closest thing Diamond Bowie has had to a home. Her family of six became homeless right as she was entering high school, forcing her family to bounce from one relative's home to another. My great grandma, my grandma, my cousin, my other cousin, and my other grandma. It's led to a lot of uncertainty for this high school senior who, even today, isn't sure about where her family stands when it comes to housing. One thing Diamond does know, when she graduates high school in two weeks, her education won't end there. This high school senior, who has been named her high school's Outstanding Student Achiever of the Year, who works five days a week cleaning up the near west side with her classmates, who, through IndyMet, has an internship at a local pharmacy, She's headed to college with plans of being the first person in her family to get a degree. I like to set goals and I feel like if I didn't, I would probably end up like most of the people in my family or people that we know who just living from like paycheck to paycheck or living off of other people and stuff like that. And I don't want that at all. What Diamond wants and what she plans to do. Well, this homeless teen who has had plenty of excuses to give up, she's going to attend Marion University, study pre-pharmacy and biology, with the intention of not only digging her family out of poverty, but coming up with new treatments for a number of medical conditions her mother and grandmother live with. Reporting in the newsroom, Ann Kelly, RTV6.